What's going on everybody? How you doing? In today's video, we are on Rush La Villa Strangiato in Rio. Wow. I'm wondering if this is where they put in Girl from Ipanema. This is my guess. Are they putting it in here? Because this seems like it's longer. Just looking at the length of it. 10 minutes? I feel like they do some extra things in here. We'll find out. I'll find out. We'll see. All right, so if you're new here, please subscribe. Check out my videos, all kinds of videos, reaction videos, bass videos, music videos. Check it out. I do donation requests, so if there's something you want me to listen to, watch, talk about, hit me direct, all that information is in the description below. Thank you, guys. All right, the Villa Stragiato, Russian Rio. Let's do it. Bam.
never really liked this part in the song. Never did. I feel like that kind of cheapens it. I know that they have a sense of humor and people like it, but I don't. We know, we know this concert. Oh.
Yeah. That may be my favorite time I've seen them play that. That may be that may be it. I know that there's a whole lot of other things happening. Some of it was, you know, um, was cool. You know, like the, some of the chords and stuff that, that Alex was playing during that whole goofy, jokey business or whatever. It was still cool. I mean, they only did it even Ema for like, you know, that long, whatever. It wasn't it wasn't that cringe. It wasn't that cringe. I, I the Mickey Mouse part. I know it's not Mickey Mouse. It's whatever it is. You know, whatever, you know, they said that whole thing. I've never really been into. I always feel like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. That's me. That's that's me. I know that people like it and that you hear them saying part of it or whatever, you know, OK, fine. But to me, I'm kind of like, eh, eh. I don't know. It's not needed. It's not necessary, but whatever. It's what it is. It's too late now. <laughs> but aside from all that business, I think this is probably my favorite performance of this song for them. I think I think it's not like I have every single one in the back of my head, but just my feeling is uh, this is my favorite. It felt like they were more right here. They were more messing with it a bit more, experimenting with it. It, it just felt, it, I, I felt it, maybe it's me. Maybe I felt it more. Maybe it's this ray of light that's coming in. It's just hitting me right at the right time, at the right spot, right during the, the correct parts of the song. And I'm just like, you know what? Yeah, I really get it now. That's probably what it is. Yeah, so. It was something about this performance that uh, I think was just better than uh, others. It didn't feel, not that other times it felt phoned in. I'm not trying to say that, but it, this time really didn't feel like they were just playing it. It felt more like they were all in it. I'm not trying to say that other times they're not really just in it. I'm just saying that there's something specific about this performance for me. For me. <laughs> Yeah, so anyways, all right, cool. Spirit of Radio. Because I know, you know, most mostly I'm not crazy about their instrumentals. I'm not like, oh, yeah, Rush instrumentals. Uh, you know, I kind of like the newer ones more. The You know, yeah, the newer ones. The YYZ, La Villa, you know, I'm kind of like, mm, eh, eh. I know that there are people that really like them. They're like signature. They have to play it. Okay, fine. But, you know, I don't know. So there was something about that one. All right, we got... Spirit of Radio next. Catch you in the next video.